welcome back to the Red Bull Rant. Uh, once again, my name is Jason Ipico. Uh, now we are joined with, uh, joined by Dave Martinez of EmpireSoccer.com. Dave, Dave welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. As always, big fan of the show. So glad to be here. Let's break this down, Jay. What round were you picked in, first or second? Uh, man, if they ever picked me, they'd be doing a, themselves a disservice. <laughs> Even Colorado. The... You know, Colorado was looking to get rid of every draft pick they had. So That is true. Yeah. I don't know if they were looking to pick up a mediocre writer, but if they were, <laughs> <laughs> readily available. Colorado, you heard that. <laughs> They're just all no, over the place. I got standards. <laughs> I got standards. Well, the good thing is if you go to Chicago, you just go right back to New York. That is actually, so, yes, there you that go. is very true. There you go. At least from what we've learned today. Yes. Yeah. Right, Jason? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a lot of wheeling and dealing in the first round, mainly by Chicago. A lot of draft picks and shit going around. Um, Red Bulls, though, kept their two picks, although they did try, or there was a possibility of them trading with Seattle during their four-minute timeout. Uh, the Red Bulls, however, took in the first round uh, Justin Bilu. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed that up, so I'm sorry. And then, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, is, this is a Red Bull Rant tradition, right? Okay. The uh, 36th overall pick took uh, Zach Harrell, both of which are defenders, both of which were uh, – defense was a position of need that the Red Bulls were looking to fill in this draft, and it sees that they've done so. Uh, they're not planning to make any moves in the third or fourth round, so we will probably not see anything else in the conference call portion of draft but you know what we as uh jesse marsh said we have basically now eight rookies so i guess we can't really complain um so your thoughts guys um dave we'll start with you what do you think of the red bulls going defensive in the draft well look as you said we're we're not really necessarily looking at these picks right now as being people that are going to break through into the starting lineup and become mainstays in the red bull starting 11 what i do see here is more reinforcements i mean uh, we have now uh, the Red Bulls have a, a backup in, on the left-back position with, uh, with the ability to play some center back. They needed that kind of depth. They need that kind of versatility. But let's be honest, most of these guys are going to wind up being in USL at some point or another, right? So <laughs> that, that is the future. But an encouraging thing is that they didn't trade these picks away. So it's more of that emphasis on growing on youth which is so different, especially for people like myself or yourselves who've been watching this team forever. I still can't get a grasp of this whole youth movement, but it, it is, <laughs> it's but weird, it, it's, isn't it? It's, it's very, very unusual. weird. It's very strange, very unusual. Six, seven homegrowns, a couple of draft picks that didn't get traded away. They tried, didn't happen. Uh, so it, it's encouraging on that end. But let's see how they produce and let's see uh, what they do. Most, I think they're going to mostly wind up in USL, but that's just my opinion. Red Bull 2 needs players. Lots and lots right. of players. So this is a good start to get lots and lots of players. Well, hey, as long as you know, the second overall pick actually shows up, the training camp will be off better off than last year. Very so. true. Very true. <laughs> um, Pat, since you've been kind of stoic here. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think I echo just everything everybody said. I mean, I think they're definitely restocking. Uh, you know, you don't expect Miyazaki to stay with this team much longer. We're beyond 2016. So uh, I think, yeah, they're trying to get another young defender there that can possibly help them out in the future um and you know we'll see what happens but i, I agree with everyone they're we're definitely gonna see them in usl too this year uh i don't i don't expect them to be on in the starting lineup anytime soon <laughs> so uh going into preseason uh it was also kind of announced today that the red bulls will not be participating in any tournaments but they will have some preseason games coming up they're going to be uh, going down to orlando back to new jersey back to orlando so they'll have kind of a a good travel schedule and uh, of course Miazga and Luis Robles are still with the United States national team they will probably be with them through in the camp which is in the end of January um, so you know preseason is shaping up to be uh, interesting I guess is a good way to say it Robles got, needs no preseason training well, no <laughs> clearly not so right now the Rebels have 30 out of 28 roster spots if you count the two draft picks so well <laughs> this will definitely be interesting especially with the USL too and the kind of unknown loan rules that goes on with the NY2. We're just debating the loan rules because uh, half the time it, it's a guessing game. But uh, again, leave it up to a person like Ali Curtis who knows his way around the roster to make sure the Red Bulls are doing the right thing. This guy who supposedly traded the same draft pick twice and then <laughs> somehow got Vancouver to give him one. So I, mean, I can't really <laughs> complain about that. Um, yeah, seriously. Curtis is just has been impressive so far. So, um, Final thoughts on the draft? Yeah, yeah. yeah. final, final thoughts. thoughts. Um Good draft. I mean, we knew this was defensive was position in need with Miazga possibly going away in the summer or next in the next year. Um, Parnell still coming back from injury. Chris Duvall is coming back from injury. Uh, in the, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris Duvall coming back from injury. Um, we don't have a solid group of starters, so this is obviously a position of need. Whether or not these two players will make it, we don't know. We'll have to see how things go out in preseason. But like I said, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. I mean, it'll be interesting. They went for need, they got it, and uh, let's see what happens. 
Jesse said that he got the guys that they were looking for. So, and on the fan side, uh, I love coming to the draft. It's it's so much fun. I don't know where it's going to be next year. Might be moving off the East Coast, which would be sad because the N C or N S C A A. Yeah, I just stupid acronyms. Uh, they're out in L.A. next year, so that's probably where it's going to end up. So bummer because this is really it's such a fun day, um, even though maybe the guys that get shots for your team may never play, but just to come down here and uh, mix it up with the other fans in a very, very friendly fashion, no animosity. I, I love it. And when, were sitting, the, the Red Bull fans were sitting next to the Philadelphia fans, yeah. and everybody was getting along. It smelled like alcohol, but there was absolutely <laughs> no fighting. Well, there's, is, there's DC and Smurfs to yell out. So, uh, I just can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. There you go. We'll probably still leave the buffer. Yeah, that's what yeah, happened. Philly was our buffer. That's what happened. Um, yeah, I, I just I love coming here, and I'm going to miss it next year for sure. All right, boss. My thoughts are that the guys are going to wind up in USL, and my <laughs> thoughts are that we're going to have a good time here. So, uh, you know, the MLS draft each and every year, especially when you're the New York Red Bulls, uh, when you don't have a need to go into the college ranks to bring up young talent, it's more of a nice way of getting together and, and enjoying the start of the season. So, uh, to me, good draft picks for the Red Bulls. They're reinforcing with defense, but at the same time, they're going to wind up at USL. And my big takeaway is really that we're all here together. We're getting ready to kick off the season, and it's going to be two months away. One. Yes, Can't very I exciting. Love it. One. Can't wait. Very exciting one. All right, so uh, this wraps up this video for uh, Red Bull Rant Once Metro. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. Soccer. Well, I <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't know how to say that because he's guest. And, yeah, but yeah, let's yeah. I'm not throwing it all is, out this there. This is a once a Metro Red Bull rant <laughs> production, and I'm just I'm just lucky enough to be here. So that's clear. You are from Pirate Soccer, so <laughs> um, follow us on Twitter at once a Metro or once underscore a underscore Metro, which I have to figure out why that's anyway. At Red Bull Rant and at Empire Soccer. <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in. And as, as always, always, go Red Bulls. Peace out. Lates. <laughs>